did it like that and now we do it like this. We did it like that and now we do it like this. <laughs> yeah. Now block kids who got the cocaine. Don't tell me it's the little kids on so train. The metaphor sent from my brain to my jaw. It comes from other places, not the tinted places. Journalistic values are yellow and then of course falters. You watch Channel Zero and West Adams Prep, a new school founded in partnership between the Los Angeles Unified School District, known in short as LAUSD, and a nonprofit organization, Mentor LA, tries to handle the difficulties of inner city public education. It's called a hybrid hybrid model, which is an ex experimental model. Which the, the basic thing with that is um, you take the, the best things from a traditional high school, like you know the bigness of it, the athletics, and just you know big campus and having different the clubs and all those different things, and then the best things from the small, like the charter schools, uh, based on the research and different things that. And this is that was kind of where this this started, and that's what we're doing a little bit of both. <laughs> Greedy. He was greedy. He was a liar. And yeah. The audience knows more than the actual characters or people in the story. Mentor LA tries to bring the resources of a typical preparatory school to public education and has raised millions through its connections in the entertainment industry and local businesses such as Amgen. Mentor LA recently built its first school, West Adams, which offers six different focuses ranging from business to film studies. <laughs> like, I have better grades here. It's Me like, too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is do you think it's by like your choice, or it has a lot, has more to do with what's around you? I think it has I to think, do with yeah. the school and with and the, the system. People. Yeah. The system. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, the colors, I really like the colors of the school because this is the brightest school I've ever been to and it just stands out and I just like that about the school. Yeah, when I first so. came here, I was like, oh my gosh, this my school is so pretty. Okay, so I'm Julie Hernandez and I came from Marshall High School in like Silver Lake, Del Sereno area. No, Los Feliz <laughs> area, yeah. My name is Jesse Delgado. Um, I'm a junior, almost a senior, just one quarter left, and I used to go to Manual Arts. My name is Bobby Smith, and my previous high school was Crenshaw Senior High. And the field was huge, and it was just it just looked a lot a lot nicer. So that probably like made you want to come. Home. Yeah, yeah, it's that preppy look. <laughs> my first impression was I'm so excited. I want to already start school. There's better teachers here. You might learn something more. Cause I know for a fact that I was messing up in El High, and that I'm doing good here. So. It's always clean here. I, it's always clean here. Yeah. It's always clean. Cleaner, it's but cleaner, it's getting dirty. But it's getting dirty. In in the same ways your other schools dirty. No. Not the tagging, they don't let it happen as much. I mean, it happens in like the stairways and stuff, but like they try to get rid of it yeah. and they put cameras. And then the teachers um, and counselors like try to help you to focus more on college and stuff like that than other high schools. Mm -hmm. So I like that. The guy from Fox came in, the, what is he, what was he? He was like, he was, um, he was in charge of like, he was the main head of everything. He came like in and, and yeah, TV show. that was really nice. And he actually offered us, he, remember he said in five years, call, call me and I'll give you guys a job. And it was, it was really nice of him to do that, you know. However, West Adams is limited by a rigid public school system and has many issues besides the regular difficulties of a new school. I know they're supposed to be where the main entrance is. There is, a, if you see, there's like this, this pillar. That's where like the, uh, the, um, the marquee is supposed to be, but the money hasn't come in, or they're trying to get it. This is where some kids hang out during lunch. Not a lot though, because there's not a lot of seats. Yeah. Uh, it depends on what time I wake up. Like if I wake up like at 6:30, then I end up coming at 7:30. But if I feel lazy, I'll come like at nine. So you just skip your first class? Mm, not completely, just like part of it. I mean that's. That's part of you know, uh, urban education. Right? This is a very specific audience that we're targeting with the students, and it takes a very specific type of person to be able to teach in an urban school. 
uh, and a lot of teachers, I guess they were pulled in the building, it's new, and they, they forgot, look where we are, look at the neighborhood that we're teaching in. The, you know, you're, it's not, that's not, not Disneyland, right? And, and those are the teachers that seem to be struggling. Like, people don't really care, they just throw trash anywhere. Well, I haven't seen what I've seen in manual arts, like, all that gang, a lot of gang violence, people carrying bats and all that. There's, yes, like, the more ghetto. gangs around here. Oh, there are? Yeah. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Over there at manual arts, not really. And it's more detail. like, it looks too plain. It looks, like, you pass by and it looks like a jail, like you're going towards a jail or something. Yeah. 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 I think we have to go through the stairs. Yeah. Oh, up there, man. through that door. I don't think it's open. Yeah, that one is. The one up there. Hey, kid! Goodbye! <laughs> We're so happy. Huh? It, yeah. Better be. Oh. However, many public education experts, such as Jonathan Kozel and Margaret LeCompte, call for a more specialized school system that empowers teachers and gives them the ability to teach to their students' needs. Remember they described it, it's like they're trying to make the teachers more, more entrepreneurial. And I have that background, you know, I, I, you know running like my own business. With them. So those of us that see this bigger vision, like you know, entrepreneurs, you, you see it, but most people or if you're still stuck in this little small, right. you don't see it, oh, it's too much work. Like I didn't have, well, probably I did have video production in my other school, but not a lot of people knew about it. Like I didn't know about it. Some girl told me, she comes here, she told me that they did have video production, but I never found out about it. And right here, if you want like video production, all you gotta do is talk to your counselor and then they'll give it to you. And then you have the- A lot more freedom yeah. to like work with the cameras, work with editing. All that stuff. And it is very revolutionary if you yes. really think think about it. We're trying things that have haven't been tried, uh -huh. and and uh, any revolution is going to come up with some some you know some problems.